I think all SMEs, big or small, uh, strong position or weak position today are going to be disrupted. But those that do not have real capabilities, I think, are the most vulnerable. SME that has traditionally making a lot of money and very complacent with what they are doing now, I think this will be the group that will be very vulnerable because they may not know what's actually coming ahead of them. Essentially, SMEs, whether products and services, uh, which can be replaced by machine, cloud or crowd, uh, will be disrupted. Likewise, SMEs who in their processes rely quite heavily on manpower. I think every SME has a great vulnerability to disruption. It's more a question of do you want to be disrupted or do you want to be a disruptor yourself? Because that's equally the opportunity for SMEs. The key point I would use is applied learning and application of skills. It's not just learning skills. We all talk about uh, skills future, learn skills, but it's ability to apply the skills. So what you see with the disruption is that the technology that's driving all this innovation is technology coming from open source. Open source technology is all about collaborating, about working together. So what I think universities should focus on is in getting them to interact and to collaborate rather than working in their own silos. Universities as well as educational institutions will have to ensure that their programs, courses and skills acquisition offerings need to have the speed to market, i.e. be able to respond to some of these needs of the companies, industries and organisations. The irony is non-technology focused companies are better than technology focused companies. Because if I'm a technology focused company to compete, I must invent new technologies because that's how I compete. And if I am not technology focused, I can use the technologies that other people are developing. We talk so much about disruption, but still we need people with uh, brick and mortar capabilities to build the business. But of course, they need to understand how to improve productivity. If you look at the future jobs, future skills, uh, future training that are required, uh, it need not be restricted to just high-tech kind of jobs, but also high-touch and high-trust industries. You can't be a non-technology company anymore. This is part of the disruption. IT is everywhere, technology is everywhere. So you can't step away from it and say, this is not me. That's even more disruptive. <laughs>